David Benavides destroys his opponent, Kyron Davis. But before we get to the break another fight, please, guys, like and subscribe to the video. It would greatly help the channel grow. Now let's get right to the topic. From round one, David Benavides was clearly the stronger, bigger fighter, better fighter, who had all the advantages. Kyron Davis was trying to jab and move for the first couple of rounds, trying to counter. In round three, he landed a few beautiful counters, but then round four, him and Benavides began to trade, and that's what started to ruin Kyron Davis. By rounds five, six, it seems like Davis was about to get knocked out any second, but he showed great heart, great chin. And then round seven, his corner told him before going after round seven, we're giving you one more chance. And Benny Villas went out there and began to do surgery like a heart surgeon. And the towel came in. Look, I've, I've always said, if any of my longtime subscribers know that, I've always said that Benny Villas has the perfect style to beat Cano Alvarez. And I still believe that. My only reluctance is, is that David Benavides hasn't fought the level of guys that Canelo Alvarez has fought. Even at super middleweight. Canelo Alvarez has four or five fights at super middleweight. He's fought Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., Rocky Fielding, uh, Callum Smith, Evinny Oldham, Billy Joe Sanders, and uh, Caleb Plant. Even though I think Dan Vitos would beat everyone that Canelo Alvarez has already beaten at super middleweight. We just haven't seen it yet. David Benavidez's best win has been Anthony Durrell, who's not a bad win. He is a two-time Super Middleweight Champion of the World, but it's not that type of win. Don't forget Anthony Durrell and Evan Yildirim. They fought in a pretty tight fight. So Anthony Durrell, you can make an argument he's on Anthony Yildirim's level. So you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, we haven't seen Benavidez in those big fights yet, even though I believe that uh, Benavidez has the style, has the power, has the size, has the skills to be Ken Alvarez. And for the longest time I've been saying, David Benavidez reminds me a lot of Vitaly Klitschko. He's a super middleweight version of Vitaly Klitschko. Big, tall guy who has all the stamina in the world that looks to break you down. He, did, he, did, he does have one-punch knockout power, but he favors beating the living you-know-what out of you. That's what he likes to do. He lands punches and bunches. And tonight, Kyron Davis, it really did remind me of a Vitaly Klitschko fight. When these guys, they be showing moves, they be trying to do some stuff to Vitello Klitschko. They show hard, they, they training it at first. But slowly, slowly, Vitello Klitschko takes away their heart and their ambition to win the fight. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And what do you guys think of a potential David Benavides versus Keno Alvarez showdown? Like, subscribe, enjoy the video. And Sadiq Boxing, out!